Lick one is called Easy G Vamp, and I'm basically going between a G and an A minor 7, although you could also use it when you wanted to go between G and C, using the A minor 7 instead for a little bit of flavor. So let's check it out. Let's take a look at how to play this lick. It starts on your G chord, and I hold the G chord with my index finger open, ring finger, middle finger, open, 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 and my little finger on the third string. And the reason I do that is I'm going to alternate between this G position, and then I'm going to put my index finger down on the first fret of the second string, move my middle finger down to the second fret of the fourth string. Now those notes right there are sort of your A minor 7 chord, but also reminiscent of part of a C. And in fact, we've really got a C chord with the G in the bass. But all I'm doing move-wise is G, G insinuating a C or an A minor 7, G, G insinuating a C or an A minor 7, that's your basic move. And then you can attach to it whatever finger picking or flat picking thing you want to. You can do what I did. And what I did there is I played the bass string, pinched the second and fourth strings, thumb, pinch, thumb, thumb, Pinch, thumb, two, four, three. Those are the names of the strings. Thumb, pinch, thumb, two, four, three. And then I hammer on. That's your move right there. And of course, it sounds great with a flat pick, too. Maybe you're doing something like this. And that's just a 